Okay, let's look at another application that has some different constraints. So it says we have deluxe coffee and regular coffee. So I probably would use X to be deluxe and regular to be Y. Um, already I can see that we're trying to minimize cost. And it says we want to make at least 51 pounds of this blend. So at least 51 pounds. This one's a little different than the last one we did, um, X and Y greater than or equal to zero, because notice it says the mixture must contain at least 10 pounds of deluxe. So at least 10 pounds of deluxe and didn't say anything about the regular. And what are we trying to minimize here? So we're trying to minimize our five dollars sorry that's a horrible looking dollar sign of the deluxe and then three dollars yep of the regular coffee okay so remember when you start working on these this is what your graphing is your constraints so let's let's do it let's graph these as i mentioned before desmos the way to go so x plus y greater than uh oh greater than or equal to 51 and then i want to constrain my x greater than or equal to 10 and i also want to constrain put a constraint on my y greater than or equal to zero. And so what we're looking at is these corner points, because this, if you scroll this out, this goes forever, okay? So we're trying to figure out which would be the minimum value. So looking here, it looks like this is at, oops, I thought I was writing, but I'm not writing. This is point would be at 10, because notice I'm on my X, 10 and 41. And then this point right here looks to be at 51, 0. And I'm trying to minimize. So I've already lost my calculator. If I plug in 5 times 10 plus 3 times 41. So 5 times 10 plus 3 times 41, I get 173. And then this one right here, I get 5 times 51 plus 3 times 0, so 5 times 51, 255, so I can see that that is my minimum value, and so if I come back here, or I can see it, it says the minimum cost in this case is to use 10 pounds of deluxe and 41 pounds of the regular coffee.